Okay, so here we go. Here is a redo of our wavefront simulator for our tweeter horn. Set at 1000 hertz. I'll speed up the frames per second. And I've given us a baffle because this tweeter is designed to be melted flush. Let's see what happens. Wavefront is supposed to come off the dome. That is the green wave. And out oh, she comes. This is at 1000 hertz. Any importance? That ah, looks cool. Nothing stupendous. Let's raise the frequency up a bit. See how nice dome you get out of that? Nice smooth even coverage. Here's up an octave, 2000 hertz. Still pretty smooth. No big deal. Next set of calculations are in red, so you're going to get what 2000 hertz looks like. Nice and smooth, right? Remember that octave business? Every time you double the frequency, you get in another octave. Let's go 4000 hertz. And now we're up to five. Couldn't do four. Another wave coming up. Number crunching done. Green wave coming out. As you get higher in frequency, what ends up happening is the beam width that you actually can cover narrows. You're trying, you're starting to see that now. Let's go up. Six thousand hertz. Wavelength of sound actually gets shorter as the frequency gets higher. Think about if you ever play a guitar or have seen someone play a guitar. To get a higher note, they move closer up to the away from the neck of the guitar, closer to the fretboard. Seven kilohertz. That's what you're getting. A little bit different. Eight. Now the wavelength of sound and the tweeter diameter. 28 millimeters are almost the same, right around 10,000 hertz. So this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. You see, there is actually opportunity above 10,000 hertz for the tweeter to actually kind of cancel out some of its own sound. See what happens? Get a little bit of cancellation. That's the green blob that kind of gets destroyed out into the middle there. It doesn't happen over the entire width of listening to the tweeter, just at certain points. So if you're a little bit off-center off the tweeter, it's not too big a deal. Okay. Fun and games, and hopefully this is better than the last one.